Today we will be discussing MACRS depreciation. Problem statement. For an asset that costs $25,000 and has a five-year useful life, determine the depreciation charge for the fourth year using the MACRS system. What is MACRS? MACRS stands for Modified Accelerated Cost Recovery System, which was developed by the Internal Revenue Service, or IRS, to standardize the methods for asset depreciation on tax returns. Calculating asset depreciation is essential to determining the amount of money that can be deducted from a tax return on a given year. This is possible because a depreciation is a loss, which being the opposite of profits, actually reduces the total amount of profits a company can make in a given year. So, the, And to determine the depreciation for a given asset using this method, we must refer to the provided MACRS table by the IRS. MACRS is broken down by the lifespan of the, of the asset. For an asset that has a five-year lifespan, as shown in this table, the first year it depreciates by 20%, and the second year by 32%, and the third year by 19.2%, and the fourth year, and in the fifth year, it depreciates by 11.52%. Now to actually calculate this depreciated asset's value, we must first have the price of the asset upon purchase, being $25,000, the useful life of the asset, five years, and the expected depreciation written out for every year that is in question. For the first year, the asset depreciates 20%, written as 0.2 to simplify the calculations in Excel. Now, to determine the depreciation charge for the fourth year, we must first take the item, the initial cost of the asset, being $25,000, and multiply that by the depreciation charge for all of the years in question. Now, because we are looking at it for the fourth year, we must consider the first, second, third, and fourth to determine the uh, total depreciation at the fourth year. Now, I am using the sum function, which enables quickly selecting an array of, as of an array of numbers, or in this case, annual percentage rates, to determine the total depreciation. Make sure to use parentheses; otherwise, Excel will not recognize the command you are trying, the array of numbers you are trying to input. Now, having the initial cost of the asset multiplied by the total depreciation over this time period being first year, second year, third year, and fourth year, we can now calculate the depreciation up until this point. As shown, the total depreciation for the fourth year is $20,680.